Hi, Chef Joe with Healthy Kids Inc. and today we'll be making summer oven fried chicken. So in the bowl here we've prepared a bit of a marinade. We have some buttermilk, we have some Dijon mustard, a little bit of hot sauce, and as always a little pinch of salt and pepper. We have our drumsticks here, bone in, that means more flavor. Um, and it's going to ensure, especially in the oven, uh, baking this, that the flavors from inside the chicken are going to permeate through the meat. Um, as we bake them and we'll get that nice crust on the outside. But the first step is to get these into our marinade. So we're going to put these in the bowl. All right, I'm just going to kind of toss these around a little bit. Buttermilk is much thicker than, than your standard drinking milk, so you're going to uh, see that it coats the chicken. And there's a lot of acidity in buttermilk, and that's actually going to help to start to break down the protein um, in the meat. It's going to make for nice, juicy, tender chicken. Hot sauce and, and the Dijon will add a little bit of kick. We're going to put these in the fridge and let these marinate uh, anywhere from half an hour to overnight. It just depends on how much time you've got. So we're going to pop these in the fridge, get these in just a little bit. All right, we're ready to now begin uh, actually breading our chicken for our summer oven fried chicken. Our oven is preheated to 425 degrees. We've got a large uh, baking sheet here um, with foil. It's been sprayed with uh, cooking spray and we also have a rack uh, and that will allow the heat to kind of get under the chicken and brown it on all sides. Our chicken has been marinating for at least half an hour again. If you have overnight, that's great. Um, and in our bag here, we've got all of our seasonings, our uh, thyme, our paprika, we have uh, some toasted sesame seeds, uh, some flour, salt and pepper, and this is gonna coat the chicken. So I'm gonna do one drumstick at a time. Pop it in the bag. Again, this is a step that it would be great to get the kids involved with. I'll push most of the, the air out of here. I'm gonna shake this to coat. Knock off any excess. Lay that on your sheet. And we're gonna just repeat this process until we've used all of our chicken. Buttermilk coating really allows all of your seasonings to stick. Okay, again, shake off the excess. Lay it on your sheet. Okay, so we have our chicken breaded. It's on our baking rack here, and we're going to spray it with a little bit of non-stick cooking spray. And I'll help it to brown. So we're going to pop this into the oven at 425 until our internal temperature of the chicken uh, reaches 165 degrees. It's very important when uh, you're cooking with bone in to really make sure that you hit the right temperature uh, just to be safe. But again, cooking um, chicken with uh, chicken or any other meat with bone in is going to give you that much more flavor. So looking forward to seeing what these look like in just a little bit. All right, we're ready to pull our oven fried chicken. Looking delicious. We're going to check our temp. We're above 165. Juices are running clear. All right, at this point, we're going to allow our chicken to cool for about five to 10 minutes, and then we'll plate this up with, uh, we've steamed some peas. Um, we'll show you the finished product in just a few minutes.